Hi, this is Fabian Nicieza, and you're watching Splash Pages on The Dorkening. True story. <laughs> Hello, everyone. I'm Deadpoo, the fuzzy merc with a mouth, the sweetest honey that you'll ever hear. Bum, 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 big one, small one, one's as big as Leo's head. Hello everyone, this is Terrificon 2022. We have Fabian Nisiesa here. And yep, he's rubbing the honeypot, everyone. As we know, he's a famous comic book creator, and he's also working on a couple of books, and we're really glad to have you here. So, first question, do I call you dad or like a co-dad? You can call me Uncle Fabe. Uncle Fabe it is, wonderful. So, again, you've done a lot of comics and whatnot, but you know, I'm sure that I cannot ask you anything that someone hasn't asked you about Deadpool and everything. So what are you working on right now? Right now, I just finished a short story for Marvel, and I am starting to percolate, as we say, um, a new digital comic project for Marvel that they just asked me about this week, uh, which might feature a character that you're familiar with. I wonder who. This part here, not this no, part here. Right. Focus um, on the moneymaker. And and um, we'll see. We'll see. You know, whenever I'm doing anything um, for, for Marvel or DC, um, I always say we'll see because you never know. It could fall apart. Uh, they could ask for things I don't agree to. So right, right now it's an early percolation stage. Um, right. I have a new image comic coming out next year, uh, co-written with Kurt Busiek and drawn by Stephen Mooney. It's called Free Agents. Uh, it, is, does, it doesn't have a uh, release date yet, but it will soon. Uh, it should be coming out mid to late uh, 2023. Um, and, and it's a brand new property that, that Kurt had come up with and he asked me to, to co-develop it with him, so we have been uh, that's been percolating for a while too, um, but but it'll be a lot of fun to, to do an image book for the first time for me. Um, and right now, I think that's kind of it in comics. I just finished Outrage, which you can swing the camera and show Outrage, which is a digital comic on Webtoon. Uh, the second season took a little long to finish. It was on hiatus, but uh, we're finishing up the last chapter now, and it should be dropping. Uh, the the new chapter should start coming out in in, in a few weeks from Webtoon. Um, and that's mostly it for comics because I'm mostly focusing on other stuff. Okay. Now, again, you, yeah, he's working on that. Other stuff. Yeah, so you worked on comics, you work on books. What are, which do you prefer and why? Right now I prefer books because it's newer and it's more fun. Uh, it, it's a, a more truthful expression of what I want to say. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I, I've done a thousand comics in a 35 year career so as much as I love the medium and the platform, as much as I love working with artists and, and as much as I love a lot of the company owned characters and, and my own stuff, um, it's not new. It's not, it's not as fresh. So I, I just have liked working on the book stuff. I, I want to do more of it but it's not there right now. Uh, there's not a new contract right now. We're working on it. Um, I also have a proposal out for a middle reader graphic novel, which is no superheroes, but it's kind of a science fiction adventure story featuring a 12-year-old kid as the, the protagonist in the story. Um, but I'm not going to say too much about it unless a publisher uh, decides to buy it. Um, but but it's, a, it, it's, a lot of, it's an idea I had for a long time, and it's a lot of fun to work. It, it's still a comic, but it's a very different approach for middle reader graphic novels. The, the panel count is different. The page count is different. It's like 200 page books. Book, uh, all in one as opposed to what you're used to with, with monthly comics. Um, so, so if that pans out, that'll be a fun, different uh, way to do to do comics for me. Uh, so, so we'll see what happens with that. So, and the well, last question is that you've, like you said, you've had a 35-year career. You've watched comics go from my hair just fly out of my head. There you go. Watched it go. Uh, <laughs> I think someone on our team can kind of understand. Yeah, I get it. <laughs> but you've watched it rise and 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 whatnot. So I have to ask, what is one of the funniest uh, con stories you have, and would you mind sharing probably one of the least favorite you have? Jeez, uh, that, that puts me on a spot. Um, 
One of the funniest con stories I have may be apocryphal because it may not have happened, but the rumor was always that somebody followed Alan Moore into a bathroom at San Diego Comic-Con and slid a copy of Watchmen under the stall door for him to sign. And I have no idea if it's true or not because I don't know Alan Moore, but that was an apocryphal story that really made the rounds. So, so there, was, there was an assumption on some people's part that it was true. My least favorite Comic-Con story is when someone actually did follow me into the bathroom to sign comics for them because they didn't want to wait in a long line at New York Comic Con. Because um, uh, so I took a break with a long line waiting. I had to, I had to take a break. Um, so I ran to the bathroom and this guy followed me in. And and after I did my business, number one, um, he asked me if I would sign comics as I was as I was washing my hands. And I said no. I I got a line of people waiting for me and I'm taking a break to to do what I have to do. And that was it. Um, and I, you, you got to really put yourself in the position of that person to think that that's an okay thing to do. Like, there's nothing, there's nothing wrong about trying to cut a 90-minute line by following someone into the restroom. It's kind of crazy. <laughs> and, wrong with that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and what it does, what it does though, is that I really, I like to have my my um, lack of faith in humanity to be consistently restored. I like that. Um, <laughs> And, and that story definitely did for me. I left that bathroom angry at humanity all over again. Well, the one thing I will say is, you know, as you can tell, I'm a fan of your work, and I always appreciate your sense of humor with everything you do. You know, Deadpool, X-Men, yep, you can rub it for good luck. That's what everyone does and uh, whatnot. And thank you again. You know, I wish you the best of luck with all, all your new projects. Thank you for always being great with signing. And, uh, yeah, I every it. and everybody... Just remember, stay out of the bathrooms when the creator is there. Just let them do their business and wash their hands and get back to the table. And uh, Good advice. Yep, and thank you, everyone. Have a good day. Thank you, Boom. Boom. Did you hit like? Did you hit subscribe? <laughs>